Now, we've just managed to get details of the government's plan to take in some of Syria's most vulnerable refugees after coming under increasing pressure from opposition MPs to do more to help those fleeing the bloody civil war. Well, our social affairs editor, Jackie Long, has been finding out more. Jackie, what do we know? Well, as you said, it's been pretty well flagged up that there would be an announcement on this. They've been under huge pressure, not just from opposition MPs, not just from the charities and the aid agencies, but from some Tory MPs, indeed, and not least Nigel Farage, the leader of UKIP, who was very vocal indeed. over Christmas about the moral need to do something. Then tomorrow, Labour tabled a motion and a vote on this issue, and there was some thought that David Cameron actually might lose. So much for the politics. What are the facts as we know it? Well, we understand that the Home Secretary, Theresa May, will announce tomorrow that, yes, the UK will open its doors to some new Syrian refugees. Critical question is, how many? Well, they're not saying exactly how many. They are saying the overall number is expected to be in the hundreds and that the focus will be on those most in need. Children, perhaps the disabled, women fleeing sexual violence. Now, the UNHCR, the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, clearly feel many more people than just a couple of hundred or in the hundreds are in desperate need. They've asked Western countries to take 30,000. And just for context, France have already pledged to take 500. Germany, however, have pledged to take 11,000. So the big question will be, will this be seen as enough that, that the UK is doing enough. And it might be worth mentioning in a recent poll, around 47 to 39% were against the UK mm. taking in a handful, a hundred, a few hundreds of refugees. Jackie Long, thank you very much indeed. Well, we're joined now by Justin Forsyth. He's the chief executive of Save the Children. Thanks for coming on the programme. So Jackie just told us the numbers, 30,000 in need of relocation, refuge in Europe. Germans have said they'll take 11,000, France 500. What do you think would be the right number for Britain to take? I think we need to keep our eye on the ball here. The most important thing is that we help refugees in the region, but even more than the refugees in the region, people cut off in Syria. But it's also right, and we've called for it, Save the Children and many other charities, that we take our fair share of refugees and in this country. And what would that be? Well, I don't think there's a number, because we're talking about, I and mean, we're talking about two and a half million refugees fleeing Syria, millions in Syria cut off. And so we're talking about taking a proportion that are most vulnerable. Children that I met that had been tortured, that had been shot, families that had been um, split up. We need to take some of them. And, we're, and they're talking about hundreds. I think we need to be at the high end of what they're talking about to actually make a difference. But it's not a specific number, because this is only the tip of the iceberg we're talking about taking. But hang on a minute. I know this is not a, You say it's not about specific numbers, but it is, isn't it? It's about specific numbers for those specific people that are hoping to be relocated. So when Germany takes 11,000 and France takes 500, and we have declared that we have a moral obligation to help those people, there has to be a right number. Yeah, but it's right that Britain has actually concentrated its effort on helping refugees in the region and in Syria. But there are people in particular need, particularly children, that have been tortured. And what we should do is sit down with UNHCR. We should look at those children that need specific care. We should match it with our capability. We took 4,000 Kosovans. We should be somewhere in that kind of ballpark of between the hundreds they're talking about and the 4,000 that we took of Kosovans. But it's not going to solve the problem. And I think we should be careful not to kid ourselves at taking, whether it's hundreds or thousands, is going to solve the problem. The real problem, and I talked to our teams in Syria today, are the hundreds of thousands of people in Syria with no aid, hungry, starving, being bombed tonight. And that's what Geneva 2 is about, and that's what we should mainly focus on. Just very on. briefly and finally, do you have an inkling of what the number might actually be? I don't know the number. I think you are ahead of the game in knowing that there's even going to be hundreds, let alone thousands. But I think what the British government should be is generous. The British public has a strong tradition of helping people in their hour right. of need. So and thousands rather than hundreds? Yes. OK. Justin Forsyth, thank you very much. John.